Hi, Serious Bruce here, back with another Distance Incremental video, episode 31, and it's been about a day since last episode. First thing I'm going to do is, yes, the Zeta upgrades. I, I can, oh, I can only get one Zeta upgrade, and I got the wrong one. Are you kidding me? I didn't think it was going to increase the cost by that much. Can I reload? Nope, I reloaded and it saved, so, oh my god. Maybe I should just reset everything. That might actually be the best option. Yeah, that's a big shame. Anyway, I can get these and... Oh, yeah, that's actually really good. There's probably an automation for this. Um, Auto-theoretical boosters. So, that actually allows me to get E10 theory points, which I don't think really does something. I mean, of course, I can do these. Um... I wonder, I wonder how many levels of the theory verse I can do, even though the rewards are non-existent. Okay, I can't, I can't, I can't do it at 18. I got an achievement for that, though. Um, which one even is it? Oh, elementary E12 times. Interesting. I, th I thought it was about theory, doing like the theory verse. So, I guess, okay, I guess I'll just go back here, go back to Skymrions. I'm going to reset, reset, Everything. Just focus on the Zeta ones. Yeah, yeah, just do this. Only get the Zeta ones first, because the Zeta ones are the best. Um, and then just, like, get everything I can. I have no idea which ones are better, so I will just buy whatever I can and hope for the best. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just doing everything here, and, I mean, I... Got an achievement based on that. Um, it's this. It's reach E5, E8 universes. So I feel I feel like that's pretty good. And what about entropy? I haven't really checked that. Um, I I've gotten this upgrade. The perk accelerator never gets weakened or broken, and the hadron effect is smaller based on your hadron effect intervals smaller based on your hadrons. What's the perk accelerator again? Isn't it like this? Um, yeah. So it's just these boosts, which I don't really think... I don't know how powerful these boosts are. I'm really close to this upgrade, which is the first Flaton effect. In Flaton effect, these is a better formula. Pions and Spinors. Oh, yeah, I really want that upgrade. It If this makes the Pions and Spinors not reset each other, it's worth it. Simp that's, it's simply that. Now, I just need to get this to... Um, I think all I need to do is just get up to maybe, maybe not, I'm not sure if I should go for 2,500 um, Skymrions. I mean, it's it's only like 10 more resets from here, so it's probably worth it. Like, I can see how, how much I'm getting here. I mean, I, I can easily reach about, oh, I, I can get the last upgrade. Boom. So I guess it's worth it to reset Pion and Spinor fields. Just because now I can max and max and since the the upgrades are not reset, especially the Zeta ones, this is going to be OP. Because at E29, that's when I can I can simply get the Zeta upgrade and then the next Zeta upgrade and I got an achievement. Soft caps mean nothing, it's this one. Have a pathogen upgrade power of at least 16-25%. Um, I guess we'll just I'll look at these. E140 quantum foam without any entropy. Um, reach E2E8 universe without any entropy. Subplank foam or gl photonic gluon upgrades. Complete the 3-verse at 19, 19 and then reach E1E9 universe. I'm not even going to look at the okay, I'll look at the reward. It says the infinity pop up is per permanently disabled if you have auto endorsements unlocked. Unlock the max pan and spinor fields button. Well, the second part is really good. So yeah, I'll, I'll I'll take I'll take that. And let's see. I'm, I probably now should just be going for um, twenty five hundred sky marions because that's gonna be pretty easy to get because I can just get two hundred every time. Yeah, just just a couple more runs at this point. So two two more runs to get the twenty five hundred Skymrions, and this will unlock new upgrades. I wonder if we're gonna get something like the Zeta upgrades. Um, let's see, Lambda and 
Um, I don't even know what that is. symbol is. <laughs> is, it, is it? It can't be mu. And that's like the next one in the Greek alphabet. Entropy uses a weaker requirement formula, and gauge speed is raised to it raised to an exponent. And tiers use a weaker cost formula, but only if they're not scaled in any way. Is that even useful? And then pathogen upgrade one effect is multiplied. What even is that one? It's it's time reversal two upgrade is boosted, which is this time goes by faster. I mean, it's successful considering I'm up to 70% to multiverse, so... Yeah, when are the next upgrade? 4,000 Sky Rounds. Wow, I'm really close to that. That's only... That's only four more runs away. So... Yeah, I'm, I'm, if it's that easy, I'm just gonna do it. Um, I get this. 3,600 Sky Rounds. And then 3,800 Sky Marions, and then I'll probably have 4,100 here. So this means that hmm, I can't seem to. Oh, I can get these up upgrades. Well, actually, these are all the 37. So there's uh, this is Mu. Um, I, I forgot even what. Oh, it's this is supposed to be Kappa. That does not look like a Kappa to me. Yeah, it's the one that comes before Lambda, not after Lambda. So. Mu and Nu, it's Cadaver Effect is raised to an exponent, which Cadaver Effect is making time go by faster, and then the Perk Accelerator is stronger based on your Inflatons, and then it doesn't seem like there's any more upgrades at this point. The Skyrim Effect is multiplied. I feel like that's really good. Yeah, it is good, because 95%, or maybe, I'm not even sure. And the second flat town effect is stronger based on your ascension power. And I'm up to I'm up to 96% to multiverse, and I'm gaining like a thousand Skymrions every time. So yeah, I feel I feel like I'm close to the end goal of unlocking the multiverse, maybe. I'm not exactly sure what I'm missing. Maybe I just need more pions and spinors. That's probably what I need. I mean, I can increase the space by like an order of magnitude or two. And of course, this effect is much stronger, but it still seems like it's going to be a little bit of a struggle to get all the way to 100% to unlocking multiverse. Like maybe there's maybe there's like some sort of hadronic challenge thing or maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I can try to enter the theoryverse again. Just to see if, if it's possible. Yeah, there's, it's possible at 18. At 19, it's also possible. So there's the achievement. What about at 20? Okay, no, not at 20. I'm not even close. And also, I saw 97.5% to the multiverse. So I'm I'm definitely getting somewhere here. What I don't even know when the next one of these upgrades are. I, I can't see a single thing that's below like E40. That's the cheapest I see. So it seems like, I mean, I, I could just reset and then max everything again, but I don't think that really has much of an effect. So yeah, I'm just gonna go by what this is. So you can just see 97, 98%. And I mean, I guess I could just wait. I mean, um, okay. it. it it takes longer and longer. I think it's still worth it to just grind Sky Rounds up to like 40,000. That's probably where um, it does not become beneficial to grind more Sky Rounds. So, or even just 30,000. That may be the breaking point. And while I'm at it, I guess I can do Hadronic Challenge. Like this. Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> So there's a very slightly higher Hadron score. What if I do this? Can I get this? Yes, I can do that. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think that score really matters. And also, I didn't even check how far I was to unlocking the multiverse. But I think that's, that's fine. Um, yeah, there, this is automated, so I don't need to really focus on that. Um, Inflatons are doing their thing. Yeah, 
you can see I am soon going to unlock Multiverse, and that will be next episode. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.